Hello everybody, and welcome to The Secrets of the Foundation, Episode 2, the series where we look at features that are either scrapped or removed from SCP Containment Breach. In this episode, we will be looking at the unused textures and scrapped SCPs. Before we start, I'd like to say thank you to the Vainbrain for supplying the uh, images and the content and the explanation of why the content was removed or not added to the game. So, his channel is going to be in the link in the description, so you can go check him out. Make sure you subscribe to him because obviously he's the person who's making this series happen. On his channel, you'll probably find like a couple speed runs, some music clips, things like that. You know, it's good content, so why not go and give it a check out? You know, just go and have a look. My share of the Batesy and Battleforge clips will be out uh, soon, so you can watch that later on. Um, the Airsoft video I did the other day has done really well. I'm super happy with that video. I'll probably do more in the future. And, yeah, so that's the updates out of the way. So, yeah, go check out the Vein Brain and check the description for other people that can be mentioned in the video. So, yeah, enjoy. The first piece of unused content is going to be the black monitor in the security room. This monitor was originally going to be used to look at SCP-049's room before it was removed from the game. This room can still be found underneath the security room. You can do this by falling underneath the map. A fellow SCP YouTuber called It's O Tom, sorry if I mispronounce your name, shows how you can get to the room. I will show you a clip from one of his videos. His channel link will be in the description below. Did 106 spawn? Okay, it should be directly down. I'm going to try actually just flying down. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So there's doors. I'm trying to think where this is supposed to be. Okay, I think it's directly down, I think. So let's just go down. And let's just keep going down. It's definitely here somewhere. Uh, oh, yes, there it is. I found it. This is what I was talking about. How did I not see this? I must have literally fell past it while looking in the wrong direction. But anyway. Um, so yeah, if you want to find this, teleport to room 2SL or whatever room I just teleported to. Go back in the video if you can't remember. And then just turn on fly. Do, like, teleport to room 2LS or 2SL, whatever it was. Do not move. Turn on fly. Look directly down and just fly down. Oh, and as well, put your camera fog. To just like nine 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 nine. In the latest version of SCP Containment Breach, SCP 409's room is no longer accessible as it is not in the game anymore. The next piece of content I'm going to be showing you is going to be SCP 096's containment cell. So this was originally going to be what was meant to contain SCP 096. As you can see in the image shown, it's completely built, rendered, and in the game. However, you cannot actually get to it in Containment Breach because it's not in the game itself. However, in developer builds, you can actually get to it. As you can see, it looks like SCP-096 already breached out of it, and looking at the wiki, this looks very similar to how he was actually contained. In the image, you can't really see how big it is. It looks quite small, but that's probably the reason why it was removed. It didn't fit the, like, the look of the game properly. And SCP-096 is around wandering around the facility anyway, so there's no real point having it in the game. Even so, it would have been a really cool feature to have in the game, just for a little bit of a lore purpose. The next feature I'm going to be showing you isn't removed content as such, it's more of how content is created. In the image you can see a developer build on how they create the large sliding double doors. It shows a very basic view of how the developers make the items in SCP Containment Breach. As you can see in the top left it shows you the different edges, faces and all the fancy technical stuff. These sliding doors also seem to have a sign on the right of them, which in game they do not have them. It's obviously some sort of warning message basically saying don't put your arm in the closing doors. The next piece of scrapped content is going to be the transparent visors for the guards. Now in the last video you may remember that I mentioned that there were transparent visors originally going to be added for the guards visors so you could see their faces, however it was scrapped. I'll show you a quick snippet from the last video just to remind you, just looking at it generally, you can see that the visor is transparent. Now you may notice that the current version does not have transparent visors unless I'm like really 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 wrong here and I haven't noticed, but I'm pretty sure they don't have transparent visors. The developers didn't particularly like the visors, because as you can see in the image, there's a slight line going down the middle of the visor. This is probably the reason why they removed it, because well, it doesn't look very good. 
The only reason these visors weren't added to the game was because the developers didn't really like the look of them. And I don't blame them, it is kind of creepy with just a static face staring back at you. Moving on, we have SCP-085, an SCP that wasn't added to SCP Containment Breach. This SCP was scrapped because the developers didn't think it would have much purpose and not much was really done to develop it into the game. Also, what purpose would it have in the game? Would it have a use? Would it help the class de-escape the facility? It didn't really have much of a purpose. A cool idea that could have been added would have been to add SCP-067 into the game. The SCP-067 is basically a pen SCP. They could have put 067 into SCP-914, refined it, and then they could have got this SCP, which could have been like a cool item to have. Unfortunately, the SCP was scrapped before it was added to the game. Another SCP that wasn't added to the game was SCP-2053. Now this is basically a Rubik's Cube SCP, and even though it had animations and it was completely refined and ready to put in the game, it was not added. This was because the developers didn't see a purpose for it, just like SCP-067. It didn't have a point to be in the game. Like, you'd have it, but it wouldn't really serve as a purpose. And hence, even though it was completely ready to be added to the game, it wasn't added into it. The last piece of unused content is going to be some post-it note textures that weren't added to the game. These post-it notes were going to contain a little bit of useful information, as well as a little bit of a side joke. The post-it notes were going to say the following. Use the law. When I find out who's leaving these classified documents lying around the site, I'll feed him to SCP-682. Sorry, you have left your browser open, I had to close it. Seriously? Rule 34 on SCP-173? These are removed because there was no real purpose for them to be in the game at all. Going back to SCP-2053, I'm going to be showing you a couple video clips of the animations and the different structure layouts of the SCP, so sit back and enjoy the very short animations. This first clip just basically shows the animation of what it would look like in-game, maybe when you picked it up or as it was sat on like a table or something. Quite interesting to see that, you know, a completely finished item scrapped from the game. As with a lot of games, a lot of items are scrapped, but this one's particularly interesting. This second clip just shows the different elements and how it's put together in the game, so you get the animation feel and look to it. Nothing particularly interesting about it other than, well, it's what it looks like dismantled. Thank you guys for watching The Secrets of the Foundation Episode 2. Hopefully in the future we'll be doing more of these with upcoming features and removed content. Anyway, if you have any burning questions you want to ask me, leave it in the comments, I'm sure I'll get back to you. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, we're going to be doing loads more of these types of videos in the future, alongside more SCP containment breach like playthroughs and stuff like that. Make sure to check out the Vein Brain for, you know, he supplied the content and images for me so I can make this series happen. And make sure you check out It's O Tom if I say the name properly. If not, I'm really sorry. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.